Morning, it's the 7th of November 2024. Dodgy Days made a, a, a late weekly appearance. Morning, David. A late weekly? Yeah, it is Thursday. You've not been on all week. Yeah, well, I've been. Uh, they'll protest there, too there. much. Feeling stupid? I know I, I am. am. <laughs> Feeling stupid? I know I am. I see. Uh, today we're going to talk about. Well, I'll tell you what's happening. I'm going to give some good news first uh, because this last yesterday received a dame hood of uh, Princess Anne. What about that, Lenny? How's that for good news? Does I know a Dave? No. You don't know how lucky I is. Titties of coffee. Uh, she said, let them eat fucking turnips. And they get her, the short, shortest, uh, short, uh, deputy prime minister, shortest prime minister on record, so short, Shortest deputy prime minister on record. Turnips, is that what she that's said? what she fucking said. Uh, that's what she thought on us. And for that, they'll give her a fucking day mud. Disgusting. But getting on to the uh, the main topic, we've got to Thursday without talking about it. It's uh, Lee Anderson, 30 pence Lee, Ashfield's finest. You've heard him, Dave, haven't you? No. He's the chief, no, fucking hell. He's the chief whip from reform. Uh, and they're, believe it or not, they're the porch of the people, they say. But yesterday, we were made to stand up in the house of... Uh, I was appalled of it, and he had to apologise to the security guard for uh, verbally abusing him while he was doing his job on 23rd of November last year. So it took him a year to apologise. And what he did at the Derby Gate entrance, the security guard was asked to open the door and let Anderson into the parliamentary uh, estate. And the guard, the guard asked him <laughs> for his ID, can I see your ID? And uh, he said, fuck off, everybody lets me fucking through. The only guard who, you're the only fucking guard who don't. And uh, he said, well, I'll still have to fucking check your pass like. So Anderson said, fuck you, I've got a train to catch. Uh, anyway, he, he obviously has been made to apologise. And uh, it took him 11, 12 months to do that. And here's, here's him still up apologising. Uh, now then, Mr Speaker. I accept the, the findings of the Independent Expert Panel and the Parliamentary Commissioner for Standards in full and without reservation. <clears throat> On the 23rd of November 2023, at the Derby Gate entrance, I was involved in an incident with a security guard. During the incident, I spoke to the complainant in a manner that was totally unacceptable and which included swearing and other language that goes against the House of Commons bullying and harassment policy. I would like to apologise to the complainant and to this House for my behaviour. Our security staff do an incredible job and should always be treated with the utmost of respect. The standards of an MP's behaviour must always be at the highest standards. I give you and this House my firm assurance that I have learned significant lessons through this process and a firm undertaking that such behaviour on my part will never happen again. So what about that then? That is like, uh, he's made an apology without fucking meaning a single word he said. And uh, looking at that writing, a big writing on that paper we're reading, two sides. Somebody's wrote that for him. Last time I seen writing that big day, I was reading Janet and John book one in fucking infant school. Uh, but yes, I wonder what colour security guard was, well, Dave. I know you're uh, you're not fond of coloured people, but I believe uh, equally as fucking. I don't know. He, he ain't got no respect whatsoever. He should be fucking shot down straight away. Oh, him. Yeah, thank you, Dave. Yeah, fucking on your mind. Yeah, fucking. yeah, exactly. Talking to a fucking working class bloke like <laughs> There's that. There's a door in, and you couldn't get through. That's without it. Having if he let everybody in, we have another door there. Yeah. Fuck off out. There. That's it. If he let everybody in, we have security pass. It being serious trouble. I'll tell you that. Yeah, they ought to fucking, oh. they ought to blur a few fucking Israelis in. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I'll tell you something, I bet he was young. I bet he was young, yeah, they should fucking shut all subsidised bars and restaurants down in there. Any other job, talking to a fucking member of staff like that, that'd be down road. There, took, took him 12 months to apologise. And they fucking find him, me, for assault. Yeah, and you know the sad thing is, the way populism works, Anderson supporters will be saying, well, fucking done, Lee, that should have fucking thumped him. That's how mad it is. And listen to this, Dave, it gets yeah. even better. It gets even better because, you know, yesterday President Trump got elected and English, British are saying, 
Fucking America's gone mad. They've elected that fucker. Jesus, what they're doing? They must be fucking oh, he's nuts. Back he's back in there and everybody's going well, fucking well. mad. But you know what? The very people who are going mad voted for this fucker over this fucker. And then this fucker delivered a Brexit for himself and the billionaires and rest of us a picket fucking bill up. What about that? He's gone for a megaphone. Wakey wakey! Come on, Dave, get one this morning. Wakey wakey! wakey, wakey.